Today I'd like to walk you through my React app toy library. I built this toy, I built this app using a Rails API on the back end and the Redux library for managing state within React. This is a simple CRUD application that allows you to view, add, edit, or delete toys from your child's collection. Let's get started. By clicking on Toys in the navigation bar, you can view all the toys in the collection. If I want to view more information about a particular toy, I simply click on the link, the title for that toy, which takes me to a toy show page. From here, I have the option of simply reading more information about the toy, deleting, or editing it. Let's say something unfortunate has happened and my child has broken a toy, or perhaps they've outgrown the toy and we gave it away. I would no longer want that toy to be included in my collection, so I can click the delete button and the toy is removed from the collection via a fetch request to the Rails API. As you can see, Buzz Lightyear is gone. Perhaps I would like to edit some information about a toy, um, such as adding a picture or a description. I can click on a toy. Let's pick a different one. I can click on a toy, click the edit button, and add a description. Click Submit, and now if you click on the Frozen sing-along toy, you can see the description has been added. Suppose the holidays are upon us and your child has received some new toys that you would like to add to your toy library. Simply click New in the navigation bar and you would be able to add the toy's information to the form. You may choose to add a link to an image you posted elsewhere or leave that field blank. Now you will see the new finger line at the bottom of the toy index. You can see that the toy was added to the list and now appears in the index. So this was just a brief walkthrough of the toy library built with Rails, React, and Redux. I hope you've enjoyed.